Bastrop, it's a typical small Texas town on the Colorado. It's a town that represents a wide swath of what Texas is all about. Certainly the churches, football on Friday nights. All Bears, Bastrop led 76 to nine. That is not a typo, folks. I grew up here. Uh, my dad grew up here. My grandparents grew up here. Louisiana has a town named after the same guy that's called Bastrop, but we say Bastrop. I'm a fifth generation Bastropian. Bastrop is known as the home of the Lost Pines. It's an old, old town, and there's a lot of history. Bastrop was founded by immigrants from the southern United States. They brought enslaved African Americans with them. In the days of segregation, we as African Americans provided jobs for one another. We had our own barber shops, restaurants. The class of 1970 was the first fully integrated class in Bastrop High School. In the mid 90s, even at that period of time, the African Americans and the whites were, I think, separated in a lot of ways. Interracial dating in Bastrop in the 90s existed, but it was something that was hidden and it was dangerous. We've come a long way in some instances, but yet and still, justice is slow in Bastrop County for African Americans. This morning, 19-year-old Stacy Lee Stites was reported missing. Family members came from all corners of Texas to comfort Carol Stites. She lost her youngest, Stacy Lee. She had her plans, and now somebody's taken that away. I think you just about got it. Where am I? You're in the far end, there. Yes, yeah. Grab your tickle. There you go. Yep. It's been 24 years yes. since you lost your daughter, Stacy. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about Stacy. Stacy was your youngest of five. I found out that I was uh, pregnant with Stacy and I had cancer at the same time. And so I put off any drugs or any chemicals to keep that child alive until I had her. Because that soul was more precious to me than mine. From the time she was able to move, she was up and at them. She was like the white tornado. That's exactly what they called her when she, she was, was little. Everything. She was into everything and did everything and friends with everybody. I was friends with Stacy in high school. We were involved in some church groups and sports together. She was just kind of like a sunflower, sunshine. She um, was funny. She was always cracking jokes. She didn't really take a lot of things seriously. She was always in the moment. She was looking for what everybody does, young love. Go away. Stacy lost her father as a child, and apparently it had quite an impact on her. According to friends and family, she seemed to lose her way for a while. She ended up pregnant. She was 15. Mm -hmm. Yes, devastating. It took two of my daughters to get me in a room upstairs by myself to let me know what had gone on. She did decide to give the baby up for adoption. Every year, Smithville has their jamboree. That's where I'm Stacy met Jimmy Fennell. He was on duty at the festival, you know, security. And they got to talking, and they talked, and they talked, and they talked. Pretty soon, he was hanging around the house, and they talked and talked. <laughs> what did you think of him? I like Jimmy. He was raised in the church that I was raised in. He's had the same values that I was raised with. I thought he was heaven sent. This guy was here, and it was just about everything that I wanted in a son-in-law. She was more outgoing. He was a little more conservative, but I thought he was good for her. That's the picture of her and him. 
That was at his graduation when he became a policeman. Jimmy began working for the Giddings Police Department. Stacy was very excited about their relationship. Stacy moved in with Jimmy in his apartment upstairs, and Carol lived in the same building downstairs, catty corner, to Stacy and Jimmy's apartment. They moved in together, and they said, we're engaged, we're getting married. <laughs> so <laughs> that was just about, the, I, OK, you're, at least you're getting married. You're not going to live in sin, as I would think of it. It was going to be a big wedding. She was so excited. She had planned every detail. Here's the thing for the Georgetown Church of Christ, the yep. fees and the use of the church facilities. Yeah. <laughs> she was wanting to make more money for her wedding. She went into HEB's grocery company, and they gave her a job in the produce department. And so Stacy had to be at work early in the morning. She was working hard. Every two weeks when she got paid, she was making a payment on the wedding dress. Yes. There was excitement in the beginning, but I think as every day kind of ticked by, it was less and less. I know that it was definitely stressful for her just because she had to work and come home and she was expected to do laundry, clean. For a 19 year old, that's kind of a big transition. Did she share any concerns? She didn't share any concerns that she was really excited about getting married. She really loved Jimmy. You were a little concerned. You were a little emotional before the wedding. Um, Stress. And that you cried a couple of times. You thought that Jimmy wasn't quite as. I was the mother, and Stacy was my daughter, and I expected him to perform the way I wanted him to. My name is Athena, and we were besties um, high school. This is going back in time. Oh, wow. Stacy called me and told me that she's getting engaged and getting married. And Stacy never sounded like a giddy girl in love. She sounded, she sounded giddy about her wedding and planning her wedding and making things for her wedding. But I didn't, she never talked about Jimmy. I think that she started seeing sides of Jimmy that he was very possessive, and it was kind of his way or no way. And I don't know that she was necessarily comfortable with that, so I think that they started butting heads. Tell me, Carol, when you got the call. HEB's called. It said that Stacy hadn't got to work. That's the first inkling that something is wrong. We didn't know what to do. We made flyers and started walking door to door, hoping that we could find her alive. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.